Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. So in this video we're going to take a look at the sheep. Where you can buy them, all the animal pens for them, how to feed them etc. We're going to go through all those things. So first of all, as you can see I've got some already placed down with some sheep in because we're going to do a little bit of a test as well. Got a couple of bits and bobs over here set up ready to go which I'll show you as we go through. So first of all we need to place down some pens for our sheep. So if you're not aware I'm on PS5, I believe this works on PS4 as well. Not 100% sure about the Xbox but a quick way to get into your build menu is if you hold L1 down and press the touchpad you can get into your build mode menu a little bit quicker like so. So what we need to do is scroll across the top to animals, click on that, come down to the menu where the animals are, scroll across to sheep, click on that and as you can see we've got three different options there. So we've got a sheep pasture there which is two slots on console that will hold 15 sheep, that's 26,000 to buy and the symbols on the right there show that they will take for feed grass or hay and it also has the water symbol there because like most of the animals if you go for a pasture you will have to give them water if you go for any of the barns you don't need to worry about the water they're already plumbed in and it was all automatic so that's pretty cool so moving across we get on to the first of the sheep barns this is actually eight slots to place it's showing one slot because I've got all those laid out over there this will hold 25 sheep and as you can see the water symbol has gone on the right it's just showing grass and hay symbols this is 51,000 to place down and then at the far end we've got the sheep barn large that's eight slots that holds 65 sheep and that is 97,000 to place down so what we're going to do is we'll place down because I've already got the smaller sheep barns placed down we'll take a look at those in a second but we'll place down a pasture and we'll place down one of the large ones and just have a quick look at them so the pasture if we click on that it comes up like that i'll just zoom out we can spin this around like so if you want to and obviously if you move around the price will change depending on how flat the land is so I'm going to keep all the icons this side because we're set up with a few things there. So if I plonk that down like so, that is our pasture placed down. We'll come back to that. And if we place down a large barn, something like that. Again, you can spin round like so. If I click on that, that place is that one. Now what is pretty cool as well, if you're not aware, if you come up to one of your buildings... This applies for quite a lot of buildings in the game, even your farmhouse. If you look at the top left menu, the help window, it says select. So if I press R3 for me, it comes up with info on the large barn. It says how old it is, how long you've owned it, the value. It also says rename. So if we click on rename, we can change all this if we want. So we can just call it sheep. You can completely delete that and put whatever you want in. And you can also sell them from this menu as well. So now that will be called sheep for the rest of its life until you change it. So pretty cool. Right. We need some sheep now. So you've got a few options to do that as well. Your first option, which is the... Well, not necessarily the cheapest way, but it is probably one of the better ways that I recommend. But you need to what sort of think about the pros and cons of the cost of it. Is if you get an animal transport trailer, you can go to the animal dealer if you've got one on your map. Most maps have. There's one up there on Elm Creek. Go up there with an animal transport trailer and pick up the sheep yourself. You will not get charged a fee for that. If you're wanting to do that, if we go into tools and come down to animal transport, click on that at the minute, because the game's only just come out, there's not really any mods out. We've only got one option, which is this Wilson trailer. That will hold 38 sheep, um, but you will need a truck or a dolly 
to pull that a dolly attaches to a tractor so if i click on that and what i mean about weighing up the pros and cons if we wanted to lease that that is going to cost us 4080 to lease so you kind of have to then sort of work out is it going to be cheaper leasing a trailer or is it just going to be cheaper buying it from there and getting charged a fee so next up is to come to this menu as you can see in the help window it says animal dialogue box so if you just come up to this paw print click on that it comes up with this menu and we've got our options there for the sheep top right it says farm and then in brackets 0 slash 15 the 0 is because we have no sheep in there as of yet the 15 is the maximum capacity of this pen or pasture so first of all we have got four different breeds in total and we've got two of each breed so we'll just look at the land race of the benthyme first so the first one, as you can see in the middle of the screen, there's a little bit of info about it. It says age zero months. So this is a newborn sheep. So these are newborns and it says underneath that reproduction five months. If we go down one, we've got an older land race and that is eight months old and reproduction is also five. It's pretty much the same across all of them. You've got one that is zero months old and one that is eight months old apart from the very end one which i'll come to in a second so in other words that is telling us these newborns have to reach an age of eight months old before they can reproduce once they are eight months old it will then take five months for you to get any newborns from them so the older sheep here, the older land race, they're eight months old. They are already at that age to reproduce. So every five months, we will get some newborns from them. So if you're not too worried, you could go for the cheaper option because the newborns are cheaper, as you can see, but they will take longer to reproduce. Now, like I say, these three breeds are all exactly the same. But if we move down to the bottom to the Black Welsh Mountains, we have got one option there. They're zero months, so they're newborns. But these fellas, and I don't know why, they're showing us 30 months old. Reproduction still five months. That's the same across all four breeds. So I'm not sure why they are 30 months old, but they are. So, for instance, if you wanted to buy, let's say, a newborn land race of Benheim, if we click on that, it then puts you in the middle of the screen there, it says a 10. So we can move that up and down. If you want to buy just one, you can buy one. But just below there, it says fee $30 or pounds or euros, whatever you're playing on. So that's going to charge us 30 per sheep. So if we go up to two, that will go up to 60, so on and so forth. Now, what is good, instead of tap, tap, tap on the console, we can put a maximum of 15 in there straight off the bat if we wish to, which we are going to. So if I click on that now, and it says buy down the bottom left-hand corner, if I press buy, little confirmation, yes they've been purchased and now top right farm now says 15 out of 15 because we have maxed that pen out and there they are how cool do they look so like i said we've got a pasture here it does need water that's why there's a water icon there and the trailer icon is always going to be for your feed like so now these will take grass or hay so it doesn't have to be one or the other you can mix it up so if you've got a little bit of spare grass um, floating about and you've already got hay in there you can tip that grass in to add to it it's not a problem so let's go for the water you've kind of got two options here if you're on a map that's got a body of water so say like this pond over here or here you can take your water trailer over to these and you can fill up for free from there another option we've got is if we go back into build mode and if we go in the buildings menu across to container click on that come down all the way to the end 
we've got this water tank which you can place down providing obviously you own the land so I'm going to just place one of them down like that then we're going to jump in this tractor wherever it is I've got a water trailer there I've just got the Joskin um, Aquatrans on there we have got a couple of options so if we come back into your tools menu go to animals scroll along and we've got three options of trailers we can use for water so the Joskin is just for water only and then these two guys is water and they will take extra things milk liquid fertilizer and herbicide the bigger one there 68,001 you will need again a truck or a dolly to pull that so I just went for this sort of setup so if we now pull around to that water tank if you keep your eye on the help menu on the left it will come up start filling so we can fill that trailer up now and as you can see top right our money is going down so it is charging us to fill up with that water so I'm just going to stop there and there you go that's cost us 146 to fill up with just 1,464 litres so if we go up by the water trigger oh there we go I've missed it there it is start overloading that then puts water in that trough you can see it rising like so let's move this out the way so now if we go into our animal menu and we've got the sheep pasture up the top 15 land race in there and it says the water we've got 1464 litres in there next up we're going to feed them so like I say they need grass or hay now you can do loose or you can put in hay bales so I've got a hay bale there just to show you that it will actually work so if we come up to the feed trough area what is pretty cool as well is when you put feed in they normally they probably won't do it now they normally run over to the feed because they're obviously hungry so if I back away that should there we go and here they come look <laughs> right on time so that has put hay in there the bell won't disappear because it's obviously too big the whoa there where are you going <laughs> it's we've got a runner that hay bale is obviously bigger in size than that trough so if we go back into this menu as you can see 3000 litre that hay bale I think is 4500 litres right so if we stay in this menu we'll talk about a few things so this is the sheep we've got on our pasture now in the middle there we've got age zero months which we know we've just bought them they're newborns health is at zero percent now the health and productivity will go up by 10 percent every hour they need to be at 100 percent to um, be happy sort of thing and start sort of producing more as well underneath health it says reproduction and in brackets there it, it kind of tells you what the sort of problem is so these guys they're not going to reproduce because it says age less than eight months so we know that they've got to get to eight months before they start reproducing if i scroll down to this sheep barn i renamed the barns i've placed down i've named them one two three and four and then i've got right at the bottom there a little experiment i've just put newborns in there so because it's past an hour since I set all this up, as you can see that their health and re, uh, health and productivity has gone up to 10%. They are saying that they are eight months old, which again we knew. And their reproduction there in brackets, theirs is different from the newborns. Theirs says health less than 0%. So it's basically saying that their health isn't 100%, so they're not going to reproduce until it gets to 100%. Now, to keep them at 100% and happy, you need to look after them. Obviously, in the barns, you can see there's no water um, option like there is in the pasture here come down there's no water like so 
and there is no cleanliness bar you do not have to clean the animals on fs22 which is quite cool and there you can see grass we fed them they're full up now i did actually put hay in all these i don't know why it says grass but it it is hay in there so it's just one or the other it says down at the bottom effectiveness 100 percent grass hay so that is them right let's take a quick look i think that's all the things you need to know get back inside so they are pretty straightforward to look after because if you go for a barn like this all you need to do really is just feed them grass or hay so this is the large barn i think you can go in most of these doors although it doesn't do anything in there we've got our dialogue box just there so we can start up again your feed trough on the large ones here got a little bit of storage just there and then your wall pallets are going to spawn in this area so let's have a look at these smaller barns your sheep obviously going to appear there your dialogue box is here as you can see top right farm it says 10 slash 25 so this is a maximum of 25 sheep i've got 10 in there which is pretty cool feed trough is there again and then your wall is going to spawn there and you've got a little bit of storage there if you want to put some bells in there or whatnot like that one thing i haven't just shown you is if you are looking to get loose if you don't want to use bells and this works on all the bells this is quite a handy little tip if you grab one of these fellas and they are in vehicles and under animals you can pick any one of these guys they've got different capacities they're meant for picking up loose materials off the floor but if we jump in this fella again some of you may know this already ignore the bars really because that's basically for making tmr so if we unfold it l1 and x for me and then l1 and square turn on the mixer you can see the blades rotating if we come up to these bells now like so as you can see is shredding that bell and turn it into loose product that's filling up our sort of tanker so that's quite cool so if you're looking at sort of an easy way to get loose materials you can use one of them right moving on time for the sort of experiment so in this pen here sheep barn one I've got the land race Ben Thymes. I've got the next breed, which I can't remember. <laughs> and I've got another breed. And then I've got those Welsh, I think it was well, Black Welsh Mountains. Let's just check so you know what we're on about. In fact, let's do that. That's easier, isn't it? Right, Sheep Barn 1. I've got the land race in there. Then we've got the Stein Shaft. Ten of each in all of them then we've got the swiss black brown mounting and then we've got the black welsh mountain and then right at the far end we've got newborns so basically these four here they're all at the eight months old reproduction rate and then right at the bottom we've got 10 newborns zero months like so they're all good to go in terms of feed so we're going to do a little test just to see if any of them produce more wool than the others and the sort of reproduction rates and i want to check out the newborns to see if they still reproduce wool even though they're not at the reproduction age so hopefully that makes sense so what i'm going to do is speed up probably go to the next day which i'm on one day season so it's going to be september so technically we're skipping on a month i'll bring you back in and we'll have a look what is going on so i'll see you in a bit right so we're back a month has passed even though it's only been one day technically for me and this wasn't even supposed to be a sort of test but we had 15 newborns in there they're not ready to reproduce yet but it just goes to show they have produced a little bit of wool not a lot only 10 liters and as you can see we can't actually pick that up at all even with just 10 liters in 
hay bale still there so why that sat there that will automatically fill up that when it gets low until that bell disappears so that's quite cool but i'm not worried about this pasture because we're not trying to test that so it's these four well five we're interested in so if we go into our animal menu so here you can see that's the pasture i'm not worried about that if we scroll down to sheep barn one so as you can see their reproduction rate now says 20% because a month has passed. Now we know from the very start that it takes five months for them to reproduce. So that makes sense. So if you, for instance, take 20%, call it two. So two, four, six, eight, ten to 100%. That is five. So that adds up. That's pretty cool. We've got 98 litres of wool top right. And they haven't used a lot of hay or grass so that's not too bad and considering it's meant to be a month their value has gone up a little bit as well they're at 325 now these ne the next two breeds are exactly the same as you can see 20 percent 98 liters of wool same amount of feed eaten if we go down to the black welsh mountains everything is exactly the same bar the wall look at the difference so 98 liters for these three 162 for these so already it's looking like these are the best ones for producing wool now i don't know if that's because they're older because they started off at 30 months i'm not sure i'm guessing that probably is why but even though they're obviously a little bit more expensive, if you're looking to produce wool as quick as possible, then it's looking like the Black Welsh Mountains are the way to go. As for the newborn land races, they are now showing one month old. Still reproduction says less than eight months because they're not there and it says no wool at all. So I'm guessing because we had five more in this pasture than the newborns up the end, they produce a bit more wool. So there you go, there's your wall. And what is cool is if you have your field info on, if we walk up to this pallet, it tells us about the pallet, how much it weighs, how much wall is in there. If we jump in the pen, you can also go up to each individual animal. It'll give you a bit of info about that as well, just in case you weren't sure. So we should have the same sort of figure across the board for these four might have one more no that's showing one but we know that the black welsh mountain ones have got more in what i'm going to do now is i'm going to skip forward till we get to the five month period hopefully in these four we should have some newborns and we'll check the wall situation again so again i'll see you in a second so five months has passed since we set all this up beautiful january morning as you can see all the leaves are off the trees but let's have a look at our stats but oh my god he's at it again look first of all you can see there's still some wool there but not a lot so basically these guys the newborns they will reproduce wool but not a great deal let's have a look at the stats of the other ones as you can see our original ones who were eight months old are now 13 months so five months added on their reproduction percentage has gone back to zero because obviously they hit a hundred percent reproduced and it's gone back down to zero percent ready to start the whole process over again as you can see underneath they've given us 10 newborns so that's pretty cool and it's like the chickens i haven't done the pigs and cows yet but like the chickens it is like for like so if you have 20 of an animal and they're at the age to reproduce and you've obviously got enough room in your pen you will get 20 back so we've got 10 10 for 10 same with the stein shafts same with the swiss swiss black brown mountains <laughs> that's a mouthful and same with the black welsh mountains if we look at the wall though 662 for all these three breeds they've all eaten the same amount of food and i must admit i haven't even had to top them up so they're not too bad on eating the feed 
obviously the more you've got in a pen the more feed they're going to eat and require if we skip down to the black welsh mountains 962 they're 300 litres more so they are the best ones for the wall by the look of it i know they're more expensive but there you go still eating the same amount of feed as well right at the bottom we've got our newborns they're now five months old so they're three months off of being at the reproduction age they have a little bit of wool and they've hardly eaten any so that's pretty good so if you're not worried about how quick you get your wool then go for the newborns because they will eventually reproduce as you can see 662 litres same for them exactly the same for them as well and the black welsh mountains we've got a little bit more look as you can see 963 so i think i'll leave it there i could skip forward and just show you that they will eventually reproduce but trust me they do i've tested it but that is a sort of quick ish look at the sheep so I hope I've covered everything. If I have missed anything or you know something I don't know, then please let us know down in the comments because we're all learning the game still. But I hope you have all enjoyed the video. If you have, please give us a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.